In order to connect your Blackboard course site to the library's new course resource list system, all you need to do is add the library resource list tool link to your Blackboard course site. So to do that, I'm going to hit the plus button, click on tool link, and from the type, I'm going to select library resource list. Make sure to check off that it's available to users so that your students can see it, and then provide it a menu name. And hit submit. So now the course resource list link is available for your students and yourself uh, to access the course resource system. When I click it, it asks me to launch the new library resource list system. And if this is the first time you're submitting this, you're going to need to provide a little bit of information about your course. So the start and end dates, uh, I'm just going to update this one to April 30th. The number of participants, and this could be just the enrollment cap potentially, and which academic department that you're in. And then you hit create. So now we have a copy of your course in the course resource list system and you can create a list uh, for that course. And there's two ways to do that. Uh, the first option uh, here is to upload a document that contains an existing reading list. So if you have a Word document with a number of citations of, to books and articles or websites that you'd like us to create for you, uh, you could upload that file and we'll create that list for you in the course resource list system. The other option is that you can use the system to create a course resource list from scratch yourself. And it's actually a really easy way to add library resources to our print and online holdings, or to add resources to a website or upload files. Um, so it's a really nice way to create a resource list that uh, you can reuse again and again uh, in courses in the future.